So this is a 30 year old theory about brain works um, with memory to assimilate, store, retrieve and um, apply information. Um, the theory says, first of all, that, it, that cognitive work is done when using memory in the process of thinking and understanding and that that cognitive load is finite. There's a finite capacity. People can become overloaded. Um, also, it talks about two different types of memory. Um, so you talk about working memory, which is limited and immediate. Um, and the work done by the brain on gathering information into the working memory is the intrinsic load. And then you have long term memory, which is vast potentially infinite um, and uh, structured using schemas um, and the, the cognitive load there is done by taking information and putting it, slotting it into the right schemas in the right way such that it will be retrievable later. Um, the point here is that our load bearing capacity is finite and when we ask people to do to cope with both intrinsic and the second form of cognitive loads called germane, both intrinsic and germane load at the same time, it can slow us down or cause us to fail. So to avoid this, one strategy is to send more frequent, shorter communications. Um, that would be something which might feel quite anathema to, um, to a school or an institution that might feel like they're taking up people's time if they send too many communications, or maybe that it takes too much time to formulate too many communications. But actually, if it does take more time, it's time well spent. Um, the audience would much rather receive shorter bite-sized things more frequently than uh, long all-encompassing communications occasionally. Um, and also here if we're wanting to avoid people suffering from the overload that we're talking about using less jargon is one option to, to use here because you're requiring people then to stop having to uh, assimilate information into their um, structured memory while also trying to deal with stuff you're asking them to think about right now. But an alternative plan there might actually be to educate parents about the use of jargon and um, the sorts of concepts that are valuable in schools. Um, so we don't want to sort of say don't use jargon, um, just if you're going to use it, make sure you help the parents use it too.